When you walk past grass that's been freshly cut, it's a really distinctive smell in the air. But what is that smell? More importantly, why actually is it there? The smell goes by the name of green leaf volatiles. And as the name implies, it doesn't just apply to grass, also to a wide range of green leafy plants. It's just that when grass has been cut, so many of these chemicals are released that even to us humans, with our poor sense of smell, can actually detect it. Chemicals that are released in these instances, not just one chemical, or even just one type of chemical, generally break down into three different groups. Alcohols, aldehydes and esters, which in turn are produced by the membrane lipids of the leaves when they're damaged. Some forms of these chemicals that are released normally during the daily life of plants, others will be released if the leaves are brushed against, trodden on, or otherwise suffer some normal wear and tear and damage. However, the chemical profile from these instances is distinctly different from that which occurs when the plants are being either cut by a blade or chewed by an insect or some other herbivore, and this is the key to why plants produce these chemicals. Plants, of course, have various ways of protecting themselves from being eaten. They can produce thorns, they can make themselves toxic, otherwise unpleasant to eat. However, nearly all of these methods, the animals can adapt so they are resistant to the toxins or can avoid the thorns or other defences. Now, in the case of green leaf volatiles, the plant is signalling to the surrounding environment that something eating it. The more plants are being eaten, the stronger that signal then becomes. That signal can then be picked up by predator animals like carnivorous beetles and others, then feed on the leaf eating insects or the other herbivores, and therefore reduce further damage to the plants by directly reducing the number of animals actually feeding on the plants themselves. But, like all adaptations, this one sometimes can have a downside to it as well, since some herbivores are also attracted to the emission of these green leaf volatiles, interpreting it as a signal of exactly where the tasty green leaves actually are. That leaves us, if you excuse the pun, with us humans. Why do we detect green leaf volatiles? Why do we find it so generally pleasant or attractive to smell? Well, of course this is related to our role in the ecosystem as hunters. Whilst a few insects nibbling on a leaf or two isn't really that important to us. A large herbivore, or even a herd of them, eating substantial amounts of leaves off trees or bushes, or even better, grazing on the grass nearby, is certainly useful to us. The smell given off by grass being eaten by these herbivores guides us to where a potential source of food might actually be. So there we have green leaf volatiles, not just a pleasant smell, but actually part the battle for survival in nature.